How you doing tonight? This is an illegal stop. Can you get that light out of my face? Please? No, you Thank get you. your light out of my fucking face, dude. No, I'm not. Don't fucking touch me. Don't put that light in my Don't face. Don't fucking touch me, dude. Get that You're light out of my clown. face. Get out of here, dude. What's your name and badge number, punk? Just suspicious, so it gives us reasonable suspicion to contact people and to stop people because it's not normal for people to make a loop around the same block. Oh, we're not allowed to drive around? You're supposed to have a driving infraction to be able to rent stop somebody. Is suspicion a crime? Yes. Do you have an idea? Anything? I do. You don't have to give a cop your identification because he says that he's reasonably suspicious of you. I'm free to move around wherever the f I want. I'm free to stand right in here yeah. and film you two clowns. The light's in your face. What are you going to do? Sir, I need you to get back onto the sidewalk, sir. Oh, no. I'm right in front of your vehicle. Might want to do your job. Get back in your car. Put your seatbelts on. Drive away and go to the next stop. Put your fing seatbelt on, clown. In the year 2002, I was no-knock raided by the Chief of Police, Michael Moore, of LAPD with an entire SWAT team twice in the same month. Since that date, I began studying the history of America and constitutional law. I am an autodidactic constitutional law scholar. Over the past couple years, what I've done is I've been able to devise a system, understanding that the police have created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that they use to arrest you. I've also created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols for you to follow that gives you back the power when you're forced to interact with these jackboot thug pigs. It has become a tyrannical jackboot thug pig, police state, prison state, death state. I will win the governorship and I will change the policies from the top down. What is going on? Hit the like button if you would pretty please with sugar and cherry on top. What is going on? Now I want to show you guys something. This is a Terry stop. This copper is going to say to this woman, that he has reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. <laughs> reasonable suspicion is what? Reasonable suspicion is a construct of institutional racism. So if you guys would do me a favor, put down in the comment section, OTVO, overturn Terry versus Ohio. Put it in the chat for me, OTVO. Make the chat go crazy with overturn Terry versus Ohio. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, that's bright as fuck. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Seeing her as well. Super it's random. the one call. driving around the block in a circle. Yeah, we're filming cops. Okay. It's just suspicious, so it gives us reasonable suspicion to contact people and to stop people because it's not normal for people to make a loop around the same block, especially at this time of night. Oh, we're not allowed to drive around? Okay. No, it does not. So this is called a REN stop. This is going to be W-H-R-E-N, REN versus United States. The copper, Christopher Hill, who makes $292,000 a year, is pulling them over on what's called a REN stop. That's from... 1996 1996 the ren stop which is a pretextual stop based on their suspicion of your car i don't know what infraction of driving he's saying that they're doing but you're supposed to have a driving infraction to be able to ren stop somebody which is really stopping someone based on a terry stop that you're suspicious of their activity and she's saying that he's saying that you driving in a circle makes me suspicious and gives me the right to stop you that's just not true it's made up nonsense based on terry versus ohio you are allowed to drive around, but like I said, it's it's suspicious, which gives us reasonable suspicion to talk to people and to detain people for a traffic stop. Is suspicion a crime? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He, he actually said suspicion's a crime. This dunce cap pig said suspicion's a crime. Suspicion is what, everybody? It's Terry versus Ohio. Can you put that in the comment section for me? Suspicion is not constitutional. Suspicion is based on the 1968 Supreme Court case holding that creates institutional racism in America that was used mostly on blacks through the 60s and 70s, and now it's used on all of us. Reasonable suspicion is not a crime, and that's what they're saying it is here. They're saying that reasonable suspicion is a crime. It's just not true. Ma'am, do you have an idea? Any? I do. Ooh, that's bright. What's the reason for the stop? Like I told you, it's reasonable suspicion because it's very odd for somebody to be driving around in a circle around the same block. That's not a crime. It's reasonable mm -hmm. suspicion. You don't have to give a cop your identification because he says that he's reasonably suspicious of you. That is a complete falsehood. Totally and completely false. You don't give the cop your ID for reasonable suspicion. Number four on your non-driver cop card. 
Cop says he wants ID, says he has reasonable, articulable suspicion. While filming the cop, you say, I plead the Fifth Amendment. I identify as good citizen. No ID is required. The law is in the navy blue. Hibble versus Nevada, 2004, with reasonable, articulable suspicion. Citizen must state how they ID. Do not give ID without probable cause. These cop cards are 10 bucks. You get two of them, driver and non-driver. What's your name, badge number? How you doing? You got ID? Can I see it? I don't need to ID. Okay. What's your name, badge number? What's yours? What's my badge number? You should have the Fifth Amendment cop card. They should have, as soon as the cop pulled them over, they should have immediately invoked their Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. How you doing tonight? What's your name and badge number? Identify. Oh. Part of your policy to identify, clown. See, this is the point. Now, I'm not, I'm not hacking this guy because he's doing activism. He's out filming cops, and I appreciate that. But he shouldn't be speaking for himself. He should be using his phone and his card. And he should say, oh, you want my ID? One second, officer. It says right here on this card that I got from a constitutional law scholar that I don't have to give you my ID unless there's probable cause. Do you have probable cause? Because if you don't have probable cause, then what's going on? This is an illegal stop. Can you get that light out of my face, please? No, you Thank get you. your light out of my fucking face, dude. No, I'm not going to get my light out of your face. What's your name and badge number? Ellis? B. Ellis? Take that light out of my face. I can't see. Oh, no. I can't see. All right, I'm a... Don't fucking touch me. Don't put that light in my Don't face. Don't fucking touch me, dude. Put that light You're out of my clown, face. You're a clown, bro. Get that You're light out of my clown. face. You're a fucking clown. You're a fucking clown. Get out of here, dude. What's your name and badge number, punk? My badge number is 640. Hill? Yep. 640. And the reason for the stop is what? I already told you twice. Because we're suspicious? Look what she did. She gave ID because if you're behind the wheel of the car and the cops pull you over and you don't give the ID, the frickin' judge will rule against you. It's reasonable suspicion for the detention. Bullshit. You can have your opinion, but I understand the law. I know the, I know the law, bud. Okay. Yeah. How did you learn the law? In order to stop somebody, I need to be, or this this person who's driving needs to be committing a traffic infraction. There's also case law that proves that reasonable suspicion for a detention also classifies a reason to stop somebody and detain nope. them. Nope. Wrong. Right. Under Wren, you can stop somebody on a Terry stop if they're walking. You can't stop their car unless they do a traffic infraction. This jackboot thug pig never said there was a traffic infraction. That means this is an unconstitutional stop. A crime area in a narcotics area. Bullshit. On around here. And that's why. So wrong. The circle this area. Wrong. And uh, we responded to shootings and stabbings in this area of town. That doesn't so give you, that does not give area, you a reason to pull us over. The block. And by the way, here's the law. If he wanted the passenger to get out of the car, get out passenger. That's going to be Arizona versus Johnson and Maryland versus Wilson. The thing you have to remember that if they're ordering you out of the car, and you are the passenger in a car, you're the passenger in a car, then that means if he's ordering you out, the spirit of the laws for officer safety, as a passenger, the cop may allege numerous reasons for fearing their safety due to your presence. Exiting is a minimal intrusion. Refusal risks jail or harm. Exit with your hands up while filming. State, I identify as good citizen. I, have, I invoke my first and fifth amendment rights. No consent to searches or seizures. That's what you want to do. If they're ordering you out of the car as the passenger, that jackboot thug pig is now claiming, without saying it, that he believes that you're armed and presently dangerous. Not just armed. It leads me to believe that you guys might be out here to commit a crime or go after We're here filming you clowns. Okay. We're here filming you clowns. Okay. So, so you, have, you can have your opinion. I would just explain to her the entire reason for the stop. I'm very well within my rights to stop you. Yeah. So you guys have a good day. That is ridiculous. He has to have a singular articulable fact. That is bullshit. That's a pure hunch, which is what Terry versus Ohio says you can't have. You have to have a singular articulable fact of criminality. Driving in a circle around a block is not a singular articulable fact of criminality. This is an unconstitutional stop. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah. Too. You're dismissed, punk. You're dismissed, punk.
If you're free to go, you're free to stay. He can get out, tell them to suck his middle you're finger. Dismissed. What? The traffic stops over, right? Traffic stops over, right? Yeah. I'm free to move around wherever the f I want. Yeah, you're dismissed. I appreciate it. Back to work. I am doing my job. Yeah. And you are free to leave and go back to Martinez based upon your hat. I'm free to stand right in here and film you two clowns. Why are we spending our time and money, these jackboot thug pigs, pulling people over who are driving on a road doing nothing wrong? And we've given these pigs autonomy. They're free to do whatever they want. They don't have 24-7 cam with someone watching in a control center that says, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Go find crime, real crime in progress. That's perfectly fine. Yep. Yeah. What's what's your badge number, Sir, by the way? Stay out of the roadway, please. What's your badge number? Sir, I already told you. No, you didn't tell me your badge number. I did, actually. Ellis, while what's your badge number? Why you're still seated in the you car. Talk over here in the what's your you badge number? Sidewalk, okay, so he doesn't have to stay out of the roadway, specifically in the 2019 case of Nivens versus Bartlett. Neil Gorsuch, in his dicta, will say that if the cop tries to arrest you for jaywalking when he's obviously protesting police, that that would be a retaliatory arrest and these cops would lose their qualified immunity and this man could sue those pigs. So if you say on camera... I'm protesting police like that. Then they can't arrest you for some minor secondary crime. The 2019 case of Nivens versus Bartlett clearly states, Neil Gorsuch clearly states in the dicta when they're talking about the case that if the cop arrests you for stepping in the street and Neil Gorsuch actually uses the, the, the crime of jaywalking and says, if the police arrest you when you're actively protesting police, for a minor secondary crime, like jaywalking, is what exactly what Neil Gorsuch says, that that is a retaliatory arrest, the cops lose qualified immunity, and that would get, open them up to civil litigation. Mine's 855. 855, you know, thank you so much for finally you know, identifying. You know the road with your, huh? Thank You're you so road. much for finally identifying. The light's okay. in your face, what are you gonna do? Sir, I need you to get back onto the sidewalk, sir. Oh no, I'm right in front of your vehicle. I am not a danger. I'm, I'm not you. in danger. And guess what? The Supreme Court has already ruled that you are not responsible for my safety. So you might want to do your job, get back in your car, put your seatbelts on, drive away, and go to the next stop. I'm insured. I love it. I absolutely love it. Civil disobedience, public civil disobedience. That you are safely allowed to pull away from this incident. I'm going to stand right here until you guys get back in your car. This is Vacaville PD, guys. Mm. Mm. We got Ellis and Hill, two clowns. This guy pulled us over because he said, we're driving around and look suspicious. So that's a reason to stop the vehicle. I already explained it to your driver. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Mind your, mind your business, bro. Why don't you go to a stop? Why don't you go pull someone over that's actually committing a traffic infraction? What you are doing is very suspicious. That's not a crime. Suspicion it is not a crime. And it's not a reason to pull somebody reasonable over. Reasonable suspicion is allows us to nah. stop vehicles nah. to ensure that they're not committing or going to commit a crime. It's not true. What the way your driving behavior, the driver of your vehicle was doing is a by was suspicious. Yeah, we did that on purpose so you would pull us over like an idiot. So you're intentionally driving in a suspicious manner to draw police officers' attention. Do you understand? how that would be a non violation of the blah blah law. blah 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 dude you're wasting tax dollars get in your fucking vehicle and drive away let's actually, go actually you are causing the waste of the tax dollars oh. by continuing to continue this conversation <laughs> instead of getting in your vehicle and leaving i don't have to leave i don't either you don't either you're being paid to be a law enforcement officer that's correct and i am enforcing the law what law i told you i told your driver what and i was and what's doing. what's the vehicle code the reasonable suspicion for the stop. Quote the vehicle code. It was a reasonable California suspicion vehicle stop. code. What is it? It was a reasonable suspicion stop. As I so so no your, no California I, vehicle as code. As I explained exactly. to your driver. So no vehicle code. As I explained to your driver, is a reasonable suspicion. So you have a good night, sir. Goodbye. You Put your seatbelts on, okay? You too. I would, I would hate for anybody to get injured. Sir, you need to take that light out of my face. It's not in your face. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Seatbelt. 10, 12, good job. Sir, you need to get away from this car. Put your seatbelt on. You need to get away from the car. Put your seatbelt on. It's, it's not an officer on. safety issue, you need to get no, away. No, there's no law. Officer safety is not a law. Sidewalk. 
Get Officer safety is not a law. Get on Put the your fucking seatbelt on, clown. Get on the sidewalk. God, you're an idiot. Put your seatbelt on. Get on the sidewalk, sir. Come on, there you go. Officer safety. Put I your seatbelt on. I understand that. You know, 95% of officer deaths are from traffic accidents, right? No, that's why we have the below 100. Good job. I'm so glad you put it on. Now you're going to be safe. Now, I know it may not seem like it, because in the end, nothing much happens, but you would be crazy to think that police officers like this don't need to get fired. From making applause to intimidating civilians while refusing to identify themselves, to even violating civilians' rights, these two officers show that with them, no one is safe, especially from the police. Bad luck for them that this time, they were faced with someone that knew his rights and how to stand for them, making these cops look like fools. And this is why it is so important for you to know your rights and to help us to bring awareness to the rest of the public. So don't forget to support the channel by subscribing, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police. It takes one governor in one state and you could completely ch change policing across America. That's why the goal is to run for governor. And that's why the goal is to win the governorship. Not as a Republican, not as a Democrat, but as an independent. Because Republicans and Democrats have given the body cam footage to the cops. In the Massachusetts state legislature, those are mostly Democrats. Who has the body cam footage in Massachusetts? The cops. Did that happen 10 years ago? No, we owned the body camera 10 years ago. Now you got to get the body camera footage from the cops. They can edit it, delete it, alter it, take the sound out, turn the sound down, take a chunk of video out. Oh, you don't need to see this part. In the North Carolina legislature, mostly Republican, who gave the body cam footage to the cops? The Republicans. In Texas, a mix of Republicans and Democrats. In Colorado, a mix in Michigan, Michigan is 50-50. Michigan, the state of Michigan is so hardcore, 50-50 Democrat, Republican, 50-50 gun rights, 50-50 First Amendment. Michigan is one of those states that, man, one person going to the other side is like, oh my God, we're losing our majority. In Michigan, Republicans and Democrats together both signed on to bills that gave the cops the body cam footage. I'm running as an independent. I will not support either one of these jackboot thug pig sucking parties.